I'm looking at history and I want to distort it, I want to turn it upside down, I want to question it, I want to punch it, I want to, you know, I love it. My name is Mary Sibande. I'm a visual artist from Johannesburg, South Africa. This work is titled A Reverse Retrograde. So the idea is it's about going forward, but in a reverse way. I know it doesn't make sense, but it makes sense. Well, the work is about, um, it, it borrows from history. And of course, um, it borrows from my, my stories, my being. And of course, for me to look at me, I have to look back at my geography, who's surrounding me, and look at my race. Um, who am I, a black woman in South Africa, um, post-apartheid? My work is, is paying homage um, to the women in my family who are all maids. I felt the need to celebrate these women because they were limited as, as black bodies, as black female bodies. So the, the blue figure represents that, represents my grandmother, represents my mother, represents my great-grandmother, and I named her Sophie. She's wearing um, the headscarf that represents servitude, the apron that, that talks about being a maid. And these, these blues are worn by people who like laborers, they, they're worn by laborers. But her dress doesn't say anything about being a maid. It's a big dress, it's, it's, it's this voluptuous garb. Her, her eyes are closed and she must keep her eyes closed all the time. That's when she can dream. That's when her, her ordinary maid's uniform becomes a big dress and you know, like her dreams become a reality. And she's refusing to be a maid. Right now, she's not a maid. She is her own force. And at the same, and, and at the same time, she's looking at this um, purple figure who is her. And the purple figure is a new figure, uh, which um, it, it, it talks more about me, how I envision the world or how I see myself in the world. And the purple figure always comes with an, an army of these creatures. So these are her babies. I wanted to create something that I've never seen before, something something strange, something that, 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 that represents a start. So in a way, I zoomed into my work and these creatures represent that, like, um, like sort of like when you look into a microscope of whatever, when you zoom into things. So they like um, something that crept out of a sci-fi movie or an embryo or something that is about to become. And this purple is a special color for me in that in Cape Town, people were marching against apartheid and the apartheid police um, lace their water cannon with purple dye. Um, so everyone who was protesting was covered in purple. So the idea was um, they were mocked. They wanted to arrest them afterwards. So for me, I was attracted to the idea of being colored. And, and that's why I'm using purple in my work right now. These two figures are now standing, they're mirroring each other. So it's like a split, so it's, it's the a same image that has been cut in half. She's looking at herself and the purple figure is looking at her whole old self. So these two are actually looking at each other, but looking at themselves. It's the new and the old are on the same stage, literally. And there's this dance of happiness and there's also this um, silent, um, 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 violence that is happening because um, depending on how you look at how you're looking at the work you can you can read um, violence or you can read a beautiful dance.